This tutorial will help you find peer-reviewed articles for your English 1020 cultural expression class. One of the assignments that you have in your class is finding peer-reviewed articles so that you can complete an annotated bibliography. So um, what we'll do today is look at two different databases where you can find peer-reviewed articles. We'll begin at the library's webpage, libraries.etsu.edu backslash home. And then we're going to click on A to Z databases, and then click on O for opposing viewpoints in context. Now when you click here, you'll usually get an intermediary screen that asks you for your ETSU username and password. That is the same information that you use to log into your gold mail. So at opposing viewpoints, we can click and scroll down and look at all sorts of topics that interest us so that we can find peer reviewed articles and information. I clicked on rap and hip hop music. Um, I'm interested in looking at Hamilton, the musical, and how it uses rap and hip hop. So um, the things that are you should focus on here in opposing viewpoints are academic journals and viewpoints. Now the viewpoints are really great because they'll give you context about the topic. So you know, not everyone loves rap music. Not everyone hates rap music. So if you don't know what the arguments are, you will after you read through some of the viewpoints. And um, Opposing Viewpoints has this for all kinds of topics. So if we click on academic journals, this is going to show you 15 different articles that are written by um, scholars that are peer reviewed. You can see peer reviewed is right underneath the title. But if you look, none of these are about Hamilton. Now I sort of pre-searched this for Hamilton in opposing viewpoints and did not find anything about Hamilton that was a peer reviewed article. But this database should serve you well for all sorts of topics in your cultural expression section of English 1020. So we'll close that and the other database I want to show you starts with an H. So I'm clicking on H. It's called Humanities Full Text and I'm clicking on Humanities Full Text and you can see this intermediary screen I showed you earlier that I've typed my username and password into the fields and I will click sign in in just a moment and then it will take us to Humanities Full Text. Now that we're here, we can type in our keywords. Most of our databases look very much like this with different fields that you can search, um, type your words in. So we're doing Hamilton and um, I was gonna do rap music, but you can see it has suggested I try rap music or hip hop. So I will click there and click search. You can see that I have 14 results. And I'll scroll down and look at these. So the fit first one, Hamilton meets hip hop pedagogy. Um, I want to filter these. You see, I've gone over to the left. I'm going to click on scholarly peer reviewed journals. And there used to be 14 results, and now I have 10. So I can be assured that any one of these 10 are going to be peer reviewed, which is what you need to complete your assignment. You can also see that the full text 
as a PDF is available for this article. So I clicked on it and you can see the article, you can read it, scroll through it. You can also print it, email it, save it. Um, so you can see over on the right, the print, if you click print and then you click print again, it will connect to your printer. I'm not going to print this right now, so I will cancel that. You can also email it to yourself. I really like to do this because um, it will send you the PDF to your email address. You just enter your email address and click send, and then you have the PDF in your inbox. So I'll click send. It says that your email has been sent. Another thing that I really like about the the um, the ribbon over on the right is that you can click cite. So if you had questions about how would I cite this, you're in an English class. Most English classes use MLA, so you can copy and paste this citation into a Word document and um, you've got your work cited page already started. So let's go back to our results list and we'll see what else we can find. Um, so you can see number four and number five. Um, they have a Get It at ETSU button. They don't have the PDF full text. So when you click the Get It at ETSU button, that is going to help you find the full text of that article. So you can see this one, Young, Scrappy, and Hungry, Hamilton, Hip Hop, and Race, is available in Project Muse, one of our other databases. So when you click on Project Muse, here you go. You have the article. You can download it. You can print it. So let's go back to our results again, and we'll look at this other one, race, gender, and the Billboard Top 40 charts between 97 and 2007. So it looks like um, Northeast State of Blumpel has a, an active subscription to this, and if you were a Northeast State student, that would be great because you could go and, um, and get that. But if you're an ETSU student, um, what you'll want to do is uh, do an interlibrary loan request. Interlibrary loan is free. It is fairly easy. It does take three to five days. I'm going to click on sign in that I'm at ETSU. Uh, and since I'd already logged in, it automatically recognizes me. And then I'm going to click down here on ETSU share at ILL. And then I enter my username and my password, and then I click log on to Iliad. And then my fields are already populated because I was searching in a database and I clicked get it at ETSU. So I don't need to remember any of the volume or issue or month or year number or pages. It's already there, so I can just scroll down and request it. So when you request, it has to kind of go through the process on the back end. And then you will get an email from the library saying, here's your article. It will not be an attachment, but if there will be a URL that you click, and then your article will open up as a PDF. So as I said, as I said it is free. There is no um, there is no limit to the number of interlibrary loan requests that you can make. So the other thing that I wanted to show you, if you have questions, if this was unclear, if you need more help, click Get Help, and you can get help from the librarians. We will chat with you. We can talk to you on the phone. We can help you through email, and you can also set up a research help appointment with us. Um, we have Zoom appointments.